26th of January 2023, Drozzi and Peter are en route to Gatwick Airport because I am flying to well, Amsterdam. I'm going to Amsterdam, Pete. Tiki weekend away in Amsterdam. First time going into the continent since being in Europe. Plenty you can get up to in Amsterdam, isn't there, Pete? There's plenty you can do, yeah. Plenty you can do, and see, eat, and consume. And eat. Off to Gatwick. Let's go to Amsterdam, baby. Woo! See you later, mate. Thanks for the lift. Have a good trip. See you Monday. Look out for those oranges. Plenty of edibles. Now what? Touchdown in Amsterdam, baby. Woo! Now I'm just trying to find where the trains are and stuff. I've not a clue where I'm going. This is the mad thing about traveling. You've got to suss all these like train networks. They speak Dutch here, obviously, so it's all in different languages. Bloody mental, mate. Right, just copped a train and a tram. I have no idea where I am. I'm staying in a hostel in a room with four other people. So now I'm on a mission to find a said hostel. And if my maps correct me correctly, it should be just up here and to the left. Isn't it crazy that you can just whip out your phone and go from London to Amsterdam, hop on a train, hop on a tram, walk left, right, but put your bags down and go and have a good time in any city. That's what traveling's all about, baby. As you can see, bikes are a popular mode of transport in Amsterdam. I'm pretty sure there's more bikes in Amsterdam than cars, which is probably the same for a lot of cities, to be honest. But the traffic here is mental. To cross a road, it's bike, car, tram, tram, car, bike. So there's a few lanes of traffic which you gotta dodge every single time you're crossing the road. You gotta be very careful. Up, up, just like that, out of the hostel into Amsterdam town. The only plans I have are to watch Ajax tonight, the biggest football team in the Netherlands. That's gonna be a separate vlog, so that's probably already out. Go watch that if you haven't already. The hostel I'm staying at, it's probably similar to all hostels, but I've never been in one before. There's just like all these different travelers from all over the world, so good energies. I like it. We'll hopefully meet some geezers like myself in there. This is the second time I've been to Amsterdam. And the first time I came, I absolutely loved it. The architecture of these buildings, you're gonna see plenty of it, but it's just beautiful. The houses don't go back too much, so they're like all four stories, and the stairs are very steep. As are the prices for ham and cheese toasties, apparently. Amsterdam was taken over by the Nazis in World War II. So if you've ever heard of a Sheila called Anne Frank, who wrote a diary, she lived in Amsterdam. She was a Jewish girl who had to hide with her family in like a little hidden part of her house so that she didn't get sent off to Auschwitz. And I'm pretty sure she was on the last train to Auschwitz. So uh, RIP to Anne Frank. But it's crazy to think such a lively city like Amsterdam got taken over by a massive army. To think that was only like a few generations ago as well. Armies were taking over cities. Just mental, it's just absolutely mental. I've done the Anne Frank house before, so I'm not gonna do it again today it is a tourist attraction here in amsterdam so i'm just gonna stroll around for a bit do some sightseeing and i've got a mate over here brent who was on the first ever match day vlogs for frio big carlton man i'm meeting up with him at some point no idea what i'm doing but i'm sure it'll be fun because it always is so let's not get hit by a bike or a car or a tram let's go explore amsterdam i'm now in a pretty standard but very beautiful Amsterdam Canal in the city. Bloody beautiful, mate. Look at that. Bit of a grey day, but still lovely. And as I was saying about these houses, they are like four or five levels high, most of them. And they've all got these hook things on them. On the top of these roofs here, they've got these hooks. And what they do is, instead of walking down the steep stairs, they use these hooks with ropes to carry the things down. I might have to start up a Amsterdam architecture channel, I reckon, next. I think that's the next venture for me. But for now, I'm just gonna keep strolling around. Got the Ajax game tonight, so just got some time to kill. Now, I've pretty much walked the length of Amsterdam. I've walked all the way to the Grand Central Station, which is obviously the smallest train station in Amsterdam. Had a quick stroll through the old red light district. It wasn't very busy today. It must be because it's cold or something. But now I've got to find out how to get a tram from wherever I am in this city back to my hostel. Quick power nap. Don't get run over by bikes. And then we're off to the Johan Cruyff Arena to watch the Ajax. Three, two, one, room tour, go. Toilet, uh, toilet roll. Ooh, wipes, didn't see them before. Come out here. That's my bed there. Bunk bed, no one there. Bunk bed, bunk bed, no one there. Got the whole room to myself. 
which is good because I need a nap. I only had three hours of sleep last night and we all know that's not good enough. So I'm gonna go to bed for an hour and then wake up and go to the Ajax. It is now the evening time in Amsterdam. Everyone riding home on their bikes. There's bloody bikes everywhere, mate. Trying not to get hit by a tram or a car or a bike and I have succeeded. I'm now going to see my homie Brent, who I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna go get a feed, and then we're gonna go watch the Ajax. So it's gonna be good to have some company along the journey. Let's go. But, but, Brent Oslan, what's happening? All the way from Carnot, baby. Where are we at? Sea Palace restaurant, mate, look at it. Proper bougie ting. Not Ajax spraying white, we're going to watch Ajax. <laughs> there we go, back from the Johan Cruyff Arena. Just went and watched Ajax play. So make sure you go check out that vlog if you haven't already. Football is the best thing ever. Just going to a game of football, experiencing an atmosphere, a religion, and meeting heaps of new people who will tell you all about their club. It doesn't get much better than that for me. No idea what's in store tomorrow, just like all these vlogs. I have no idea where I'm going or who I'm going to see or anything like that. That's the beauty of a travel vlog when you're in a place that you've hardly been to before. So I'm going to get home, have a sleep at the hostel, and I'll be up in the morning. I'll see you then. All right, you plonkers. It is Friday morning, the day after the Ajax game. They've gone and sacked their manager the morning today, which is just absolutely bonkers that I experienced that. I've had a quick coffee and a toasty. Bloody rip off, it was like 14 euros. Been ripped off, I've been had. Walking around this city, and from the first time I've been here, my opinion has to be one of the best cities in the world. Top five for me, easily. It's so laid back, the people are all so nice, the architecture's nice, there's no real crime that you see, no real like, homelessness that you see either. All of the stuff that you would associate negatively with a, with a big city, Amsterdam doesn't really have that. <laughs> Plonkers, it is Saturday in Amsterdam. Didn't really record too much yesterday, but basically all I did was walked around the city for hours on end, talking to different travelers like myself in the hostel. Played a lot of pool pretty much. Staying in a hostel is very cool. You just meet so many different nationalities of people. Last night I went out with an Italian, a French, and a Finnish man. I mean, the jokes write themselves at this point, but it's been great fun. Just haven't really been whipping out the camera as much. As always, I have no idea what today's gonna bring, but it'll be fun whatever it is. So let's go. Is it on? But just like that, Sunday, this trip is absolutely flying by. To be fair, I haven't even done too much. I've just been hanging out with people in the hostel, strolling through Amsterdam, getting different food, just loving it really. Time just flies by when you're just aimlessly walking around this city. But yesterday I met this uh, girl from Brooklyn and we just hung out all day just talking absolute shite. This stuff that happens when you're traveling is just so unexpected, but it's just an experience. It's such a weird thing. As every day goes, no idea what's gonna to happen today, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Let's go. Bob, out here with Sue. Today, Relative to Biggie Smalls, straight out of Brooklyn. That's Erica right. Badu, mm -hmm. that's homies. What are we doing right now? Tell them. We're in a canal boat tour. Yeah. Through there are no straight lines in um, getting guided. Yeah. We'll show some signs as they appear. Going around, dancing in town, laughing out loud and zipping around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good town. Man. You can see modern art, you can see Van Gogh, you can go on the canal but it is a little slow. Plenty of faces for you to meet, you can stop at a shop and smoke some ham. What are you saying then? Once, China. it was the only market in the city. Go on then, you started it off. Hey. Is that all you're going to say? Hey. On the main vlog, sat on canal, looking at the green and white bridge. 
And now it's dark because we're going under the bridge and the sun don't work under bridges and that. So, no. the tour, what did you learn? A lot of stuff about architecture. Oh, yeah. Social class. Yeah. History. Would you like some coffee? Nice. So, what we got right here? This is Capsulon. What's in there? It's layered um, donor meat um, with fries, lettuce, tomato, yep. cucumber, all the goodies, and melted cheese. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. What do you think of Amsterdam then? Beautiful, breathtaking city. Love it. We'll be back. Been very productive. Very productive. Canal tour, coffee shop tour. A few coffee shops, one or two. Coffee. For coffee, Starbucks. Museum now, Moco. Hell yeah. Some contemporary art. Took some art. Maybe go for an ice skate. See no. where the night takes us. Hell yeah. Let's go. Woo! here Amsterdam Square. <laughs> I think this is like the main square of Amsterdam. Amsterdam, very fun. Last night tonight. Last night, indeed, indeed. Rats. Been a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Back to the hostel. Let's go. Let's go. Waffles, eggs, maple syrup, pancakes, eggs, Benedict. Yeah, what are you saying? Woo! How's it tasting? I haven't tasted yet. Just say it's good, just say it's good for the camera. It's so good, it's so good. Hell it's yeah. Mm -hmm. Going down. Amsterdam Canal's last day in that. Bye. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. Nice seeing you. Bop. 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 Enjoy living in Brooklyn. Hey. <laughs> so there we have it. Said bye to Big Sue's from Brooklyn, New York. Character unlocked. What a person she was. Just been another eye-opening travelling experience coming to Amsterdam and staying in a hostel and just meeting a lot of different people and loving it all. It was a great time. Now we gotta head for the airport. And my luggage has been lost at Gatwick Airport, so I now don't have any clothes or toiletries, but that's gonna finish another vlog on the Druzy channel. Amsterdam, one of the best cities in the world. Had an absolute great time. Make sure you drop a comment down below, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, uh, you plonkers.